At times when you submit a form, something might go wrong and the server will respond with an error. So for the final part of template driven forms, let's see how to handle errors after form submission. In the enrollment service, we will be catching the error from the server and then throwing it to the subscribed component. So we need the help of RxJS. So at the very top, import catch error from rxjs slash operators and import throw error from rxjs. First, let us catch the error. So after making the post request, let's pipe the catch operator. So dot pipe catch error and then the method to handle the error. Let's call it error handler. So this dot error handler. And let's define the method error handler is going to accept a parameter error of type HTTP error response. Make sure to import it as well. And within the body, we return throw error passing in the error. Now that we are sending the error to the component, let's see how to display it. Right now, we are simply logging the error to the console. Instead, let's bind the error status text to the view. I'm going to create a new property, error message, and assign the error status text to the error message property. So this dot error message is equal to error dot status text. Finally, let's bind this message in the HTML. So right before the form tag, I'm going to have a div tag with a class alert, alert danger with the condition ng if is equal to error message. Of course, we need to use interpolation to bind error message. Now I'm going to go back to server.js and change the response from status 200 to status 401, which is unauthorized request. Open the terminal and restart the server, node server. Now when I head back to the browser, select a topic and click on the submit button. You can see that we get an error message unauthorized. Now you can send any message you want to and display the message with any style you wish to apply. But this is the gist of error handling. Catch the error in the service and then throw the error to the component that has subscribed to the service. In the component, assign the error status message to a property and then bind it to the HTML. And you should have a error message displayed in the browser. All right, to quickly summarize, in this course, we have seen how to create a form template, bind data with a model, perform validation, provide visual feedback, display error messages, post the form data to a server, receive the response, and handle the error if there is one. By now, I hope you are in a good position to create more complex forms in Angular. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you guys in the next video.